Actually, all the traditions have uh, different uh, terms and the different uh, presentations, but basically it is all the same. It is just like explaining, some explaining more from the base point of view, some explaining more from the path point of view, some explaining more from the result point of view. But otherwise, I think basically they are all uh, uh, same. Uh, within Buddhist schools also there are many different philosophical schools, you know, uh, such as like, the Hinayana and Mahayana. Within Hinayana also we have uh, different schools, and within Mahayana also there are different schools. But uh, we believe that the highest one is uh, the Madhyamika or the Middle Way schools, because the Buddha himself gave the prophecy that after he's uh, entering into the Mahapari Nirvana, there will be a bhikshu named Naga who will be able to comprehend the profound meaning of the Prajna Paramita or the perfection of wisdom. So as Buddha made the prophecy, the great Indian master Nagarjuna who was the original uh, master explaining the Madhyamika or the, the Middle Way school of view. And this is the, we think is the highest. And in this school, that everything is actually explained in true truth, the relative truth and absolute truth. And in the relative truth, that they take all, uh, everything is uh, interdependent origination. You see, everything is with the cause and the conditions. When the cause and the conditions get together, then it appears, just like the pictures appear on the television screen. And uh, the light was also appearing. Uh, but because it is an interdependent origination, that it is not an inherent existence. Because if it is an inherent existence, then it has to appear without depending on the cause and conditions, kind of independently. But it is not. So at the relative level, see all as an interdependent origination, and it is all like a mm, Uh, like illusion, and it is that, and so therefore, at the relative level, there, is, there are persons, there are places, there are persons who are creating karma, there are persons who are receiving the result of the karma, and so on. But then, absolute level, uh, when you try to, to examine what is the reality, what is the ultimate reality of all phenomena, then you cannot find uh, anything. Uh, if, you, if you try to hold the view uh, such as like existing or the non-existing or both or neither, or uh, even as an uh, inexpressible state, uh, it is just a way of saying, but if you hold an ex inexpressible state, uh, also if you, if you as, as, as it is said in the parting from the four attachments, if grasping arises, you do not have the view, which means if you grasp anything, then, there's a, then it is not right. The true view is beyond, beyond any... Uh, perception, beyond explanation, beyond expression. Uh, and so such a view is the, uh, we call the third child, which means the away from all, uh, all explanation, all activities. And so such a view is uh, uh, the highest, and through such a view that one can uh, uh, attain the realization. And all the other schools, different Tibetan Buddhist schools have uh, different names such as La Dzogchen and Chakta Chambo, Mahamudra, 
non-differentiation of samsara and nirvana and uh, great middle ways and so on. But they are all uh, only uh, different terms and different ways of presenting. But I think in actual, uh, actual state is the same, all the same. 